Paul Demont is one of 80 cyclists taking part in this year's Tour de Faso, Burkina Faso's answer to the world famous Tour de France bicycle race. Since October 29th, cyclists have pedalled their way across the country with a new stage each day. Demont is back from the Olympics in Tokyo and hopes to improve on his performance in his home country. He says breaking into cycling was tough, but at just 22, it's already taken him all over the world, from Japan to Switzerland. You could say that cycling, whether in Burkina Faso or in the rest of the world, is a sport that is difficult to get into because you need a machine and the machines are relatively expensive. You have to be lucky enough to already have a bike or someone who can lend one to you to get started. He says that the Cycling Federation in Burkina Faso helped him with a road racing bike after he showed potential. But you need a good bike to get to that level in the first place. Despite difficulties with access, the sport of cycling is becoming more popular in Africa. And the Union Cyclists International's annual Africa Tour takes in 11 countries, including Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is in the midst of a six-year conflict involving terror groups linked to the Islamic State group Al-Qaeda and local bandits, and security has deteriorated in recent months. The organisers and participants at this year's event, however, were pushing ahead, and the atmosphere was festive. When asked about security, one of the organisers said it was a concern. Yeah, sure, it's, it's one of, of the, 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 the big difficulties for, for us. Because, of course, when we, we have, uh, for example, European countries, we are not uh, all the time um, sure, we, we, but we have a big organization. We have the, the military with us. We have the police with us. Contenders from Europe say they're not worried about security. Oh, I, I don't feel unsafe at all. I think everyone is very friendly and I, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I haven't feel, felt unsafe at all. Otherwise I, otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Local riders say they're enjoying the cosmopolitan nature of the event, but have their eyes on the prize. I thank the foreigners who came, and I also thank the cyclists, the runners from Burkina Faso. May God give us the yellow jersey. Meanwhile, Demont has already placed in the top 10 in the first two stages of the Tour de Faso, which will reach its conclusion on Sunday. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Lombilla, Burkina Faso.